Hello I Technology Reviewers, how are you guys? We got a great video for you today. This video is for the electrical bikes and the world is uh, putting a lot of accent on the green energy. If you're struggling in the city with a large engine, a large diesel engine for example, or if you want to switch to an electrical car or an electrical bike, this video is for you and I recommend you to watch it. So for you today guys I'm presenting the City Coco, the electrical bike or Harley, which has 1500 watts engine and 60 kilometers autonomy, depending on your optional battery. So, take yourself a big cup of coffee because this will be an interesting review. Well guys, we're gonna review two versions. So I tested both versions, the register version and the non-register until 25 km per hour version. And uh, there are differences. So I drive a month or so with uh, these bikes and uh, I can give you an honest opinion. On both versions we have the 20 amps battery. We're gonna do an unboxing to these bikes. I'm gonna show you the two versions. And uh, both versions are having 20 amps uh, lithium-ion battery, which, well, to my surprise, the manufacturer says you can travel 60 kilometers. And I travel 55 to 60 kilometers And it's like this, it comes with a metal frame. So we have the charger, a typical charger at uh, 67.2 volts at 2 amps. So, both versions have two uh, seats and uh, they support two persons until 180 kilograms. Both versions are uh, equipped with lights, you can travel at night in the back and in the front. And uh, both versions have uh, signals signal in your direction, in the left or in the right. Well guys, I got to tell you, this is a great bike or small motorcycle for the city you will find a nice suspension on the back and on the front and what i like on this version is that um, the quality of the materials and the plastic is way better than the previous version and ventilated discs that are with fluid the brake discs are with dot four brake fluid you have a two seat nice cushion it's not leather, but it's uh, imitating leather, imitating material. I hope it will last in time. You have cat eyes on sides to be visible in traffic and the backrest. Also here you have a storage compartment, which you can put your groceries if you are, uh, I don't know, if you're shopping in the city. If you don't have a big space, also you can lock it with a key. To continue guys, the handlebar, it's a nice chrome material we have aluminum we have chrome plastic we have nice quality materials and also air suspension in the front we have a nice headlight that it's very visible in the dark it's a big harley headlight you can recognize also the signal lights uh, go with the photo of uh, harley davidson and what i like in particular for this model are the wheels and our 225 by 55 by 8 inch and are very 
big wheels for stability. So guys, this is the headlight. I mounted a very powerful, ultra powerful LED. We will make a review for this instead of the uh, normal bulbs. Or, and also I mounted um, some LEDs for day running lights to be able to be seen in the traffic. So when I turn on the engine, automatically the day running lights will be turned on. And the signal, direction signal lights, uh, you can activate it from the left handle of the bike. But we will change it, we will do other reviews for this bike, we will do some uh, modifications, legal modification to this bike to be more visible in traffic because we are concerned, first of all, to the safety uh, in the traffic. Quite noisy this little feller horn. So from this left handle, you can control the horn by pressing here the direction lights, the direction signal lights, left and right. And we have also a low beam and a high beam. So in the back, we also have lights and brake lights. And what you see is the position lighting. And uh, I switch from a normal bulb to the Philips two generation extreme uh, ultinon so it's very bright this is the brake light and this is the position or uh, the day running light i leave it uh, all the time this light to be visible in traffic also we have the left directional signal light and the right one under the seat guys we will have the battery the big 20 amps the gigantic battery which has I think seven kilograms and which is protected by a lock and if we are talking with uh, the keys I got to tell you this is the ignition key and this is the bigger key uh, the manufacturer give us a lot of keys I don't understand why and the thing that is very useful is uh, that you have a key which you can lock this handlebar and uh, you cannot move it anymore so we have the ignition the handlebar lock the battery in the back key the baggage compartment or uh, the storage compartment whatever you want to call it in the back and we have an additional floor compartment which you can store uh, well i don't know a second battery you can uh, insert it here so it's great if you are working for something, if you have your job at 60 kilometers because with two batteries you can go and return with uh, one charge. So this small thing is to carry a second person on the back seat and they're traveling light, you don't have problems, they can, this is a nice footrest. This bike is made from aluminum, it's not that heavy but it's not light either. So this is the position you are riding. There are two mirrors for the left and from, for the right to ensure it's safe to overtake or to view the traffic when you change the lanes. Well guys, the head-up display or the board display, it's illuminated. It uh, shows us how many kilometers per hour, how, how is our speed. It shows us the remaining battery, the state of the charge of the battery, which is full, medium or uh, discharged. So the battery, if I didn't tell you, is a 60 volts battery, lithium-ion. It records the total numbers of kilometers, but I, um, I saw that it's not very accurate because when the battery is discharging, it has, uh, let's say, a half of the battery remaining. The numbers of kilometers, total kilometers, are not recorded um, quite accurate. So we have turning signals in the right, in the left, we have the brake when you are braking and uh, the headlight which is the low beam high beam
guys, it's sunny. Let's test this bike. I have a GPS on my wrist. This Galaxy Samsung Galaxy smartwatch, and we'll uh, see how is the speed comparing to this speedometer. Now, guys, the traffic is a little lighter. I started my Galaxy Watch GPS speed track, and uh, I hope with this will be a match, and uh, the speed will be identical. So guys, we stopped tracking GPS, we have 42 km per hour, which is good. So we have a delay of 3 km, but I think the scooter can uh, reach up to 50 km per hour. That on a real GPS are 45 as the manufacturer uh, limited, or uh, I think this is uh, the top speed of uh, 1500 motor, electrical motor. Let's ride it one more time. So now I manage the 46 km per hour and this speed is depending guys if the wind pushes from the back or you if you are uh, on a downhill. But this Harley it's limited to 45 km per hour exactly like the manufacturers tell us in the description and the technical uh, specification. So guys subscribe that button we'll have a lot of videos for the City Coco Chopper or the City Coco Harley whatever you want to call it. It's fun to drive it, it's a lot of pleasure, it's economical, it's a green tool for the safety for the environment because we are concerned what's happening with our earth, with our uh, weather, you see the weather is gone mad. Not only you will save money with these electrical scooters, you will uh, arrive to your destination or to your daily job more rapidly than a car. Thank you for watching guys, subscribe that button and like my reflection from the electrical bike. See you, bye.